All right, we're here with uh, Frankie Jr. of Espinosa Boxing Club. Tell us how long you've been involved in boxing and what made you decide to become a, a boxing manager. Well, I've been involved in boxing for uh, ever since I was about 14 years old. I used to work the corners of uh, you know my dad's camp. My dad's obviously the manager, uh, and I've always worked in the corners. So ever since about 14 years old, I've always been involved in the business, going to the gyms, just kind of slowly. Uh, just you know, get myself involved and you know, get known. And uh, you know, about I think it's over 10, 10, 15 years I've been involved. So yeah. And what do you think has been the best part about being involved in boxing? Um, and what do you feel has been the, some of the hardest things in, in in your involvement in boxing? Well, I mean, this is uh, like a passion of mine. So I mean, I, you know, something that I enjoy doing. I don't look at it as a job. So it's fun. You know, I, I love you know being around the gyms going to the fighters, seeing all behind the scenes what the fighters go through, they see their dedication. But uh, some of the you know ups and downs, I think the, the downs would have to be uh, losing. You know, I hate losing. You know, we, uh, we don't like to lose. Sometimes you have to, you know, it's part of the sport. You got to you gotta know how to win and you got to know how to lose. So uh, but definitely losing, I don't think I can get used to that. And uh, give us your thoughts on one of your uh, upcoming fighters, uh, Martin Castillo. He's fighting uh, Eric Morel in a rematch. Uh, give us your thoughts on that fight. How do you see that fight going? I think it's going to be another great fight. I think, uh, you know, the first fight was great. I thought Martin, uh, he won, unanimously won. I thought he fought a great fight. Now they're both at a you know different stage in their career. They're a little bit older. Uh, this is a must win for Martin Castillo, and I see him uh, training very hard. His mentality uh, is, you know, the best as I've seen it in years. So. He's taking it seriously, and I think expect the fans uh, can expect a good fight. And uh, you also have uh, bantamweight uh, Abner Mares fighting uh, Joseph Agbeko. Uh, give us your thoughts on that fight. I think it's a big fight. Obviously, you know, you know, I think Agbeko. Uh, I, I think I read on the internet that you know people think Abner is the favorite, but to be honest with you, I think that we're the underdogs in this fight. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Agbeko. Uh, he's a tough uh, champion, but on April 23rd, I'm confident that Abner is going to show. Uh, what he has and you know you know you're gonna see the be best yet to come and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of your other fighters what else is coming up in the next few months and uh, who's fighting uh, who's fighting next uh, well also on the card is Yanni Perez uh, he's fighting April 23rd against Vic Darshini and I think that's a, a great it's gonna be a great fight. fight styles make fights and I think that's gonna be a great war um, Antonio Orozco just recently fought uh, last Friday, uh, he got a first round knockout over a guy named Manuel Aguilar, and uh, we're expecting big things from him. Uh, Luis Ramos just recently won. So we have uh, Carlos Molina is going to be fighting pretty soon, and uh, also um, Abraham Lopez is fighting on April 28th. And uh, is there anything out, uh, you'd like to say to the fans out there? Uh, just thank you for all your support. We appreciate it. You know, from all of our fighters, from Abner to Yanni. Uh, to all our young prospects, you know, we appreciate the fans supporting Espinosa Boxing and it means a lot to us. Thank you.